back with another video. So today we are vlogging. Duh. Um, I'm vlogging today. I am going say we're instead of going to the hospital for um, physical diagnosis, we're going to our LCE or our longitudinal clinical experience. And remember, I went to I'm placed in a pediatric clinic. So yeah, I'm going back to the peds clinic and um going back to the peace clinic today but we have a lot of stuff to do today we do we have histology lab um so basically remember as i said before we are in the hemoc module so we're going to be doing um this is basically like cells and stuff but being able to identify the cells i did go through histology so i did study that stuff i just didn't do hem hematopoiesis because i didn't want to i'm not gonna lie I, was, I plan on doing it today. I completely forgot that I had lab or I probably would have actually done it um, or studied it or whatever. So that's that. That is in seven minutes. So I'm going to shoot this video real quick, roll in like maybe two minutes late. Since it's live, it's, not like, it's mandatory, but it's not like um, what you call people are going to be, she's going to be a stickler-ish for time because um, live is usually um, like self directed almost where we just we go through it individually and then we go through it as a class so it's thursday though so i have hospital on tuesday and then i have hospital on tuesday and then i have um lc or the pediatric clinic on thursday today um i think i'm going to be leading wealth with doc which is a non-profit non-profit it's a health initiative that i run here in my school on my campus we are the first school ever to do so um yeah let me get this set up and then we'll go to class so it's 902 i'm eight um just shot a video guys should be seeing, seeing, seeing that on night school mondays is what i'm wearing just all black. oh focus wearing all black I'm wearing a tank because it's always hot in that peds clinic and i'm going to be putting my white coat on it has a white stripe I'm wearing these black shoes again just because I can't bother to find any other black shoes and I definitely have more than one. Oof, yeah. Get this stuff this Got my handy dandy blanket scarf because that's the only thing that keeps me warm. Alright, let's go. All night. Just finished PBL. We had class for two hours. Then we had PBL for an hour. I'm pretty sure the patient has sickle cell, but you know we gotta do differentials. Now I'm gonna go sit, break, eat. It's about almost 12, and then I'm gonna lead a walk with the future doc um, session. Gonna go to Dean's lunch. Then gonna go downtown to my field site, my LCE site. <laughs> Not to do. Thank you. Oops, sorry about that. Thank you very much for walking with us today. I hope you guys had a nice, a quick, brisk walk. It was, it wasn't quick. It kind of actually was the same amount of time, but we did walk a bit faster, and we covered more ground. She's getting a step count for us. Oh no problem. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming out with us today. Ciao, guys. Hey guys, so I'm here in the clinic. Do you want to be on the vlog? Hey. <laughs> hey, this is David. He's my colleague and we're in the Peace Clinic today. And what are the, the, the goals for today's thing? Probably to get used to running everything again. again if, we do, yeah. if we do a physical exam and we that take a history, that would be pretty good. But I'll, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little scared to death of that. 
Yeah. You were oh you were you were in the hospital on Tuesday. I was in the hospital on that Tuesday. That was that was something. But it was really fun. Simple. Yeah, I enjoyed it, but like there was there. And she spoke only in Spanish, so that was just difficult. Mine too. So I'm just like I should have taken that Spanish class a little more seriously. But we didn't get to the point of like physical exam. We only got up to the question part, so yeah, no, we, I liked ours because we had we had a patient in my case where she thought she had one thing. She did not have what she thought she had, <laughs> and, every, and everybody knew that but her. Yes, and so we had to, so we had to figure out everything in her history by phys history and physical exam. Nate was really good; she found everything on physical. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yes. but yeah, that's what we're doing today. And I guess we'll talk to you guys later. All right, nice to see you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Just finished from the bees clinic. It was pretty cute. Saw so, some. Uh, Velascomus or whatever, Contagiosum, had some obesity stuff and thyroid stuff and, you know, reg -deg and stuff. Now we're going to the lab. I'm not going to lie, I don't want to go, but got to do what we got to do, right? <sighs> Hey guys, so I ended up not going to lab. <sighs> Actually, I don't, I didn't want to go to lab, but gratefully, my research mentor, she was just like, she's going to be perfusing animals on Monday, so if I'm around on Monday, I'll go help perfuse. Perfusion basically is our, the, the tech we use to um, unfortunately kill the mice that we've been doing studies on perfusing you just perfuse them or you know perfusion is basically like some type of circulation so you perfuse them with like phenobarbital and allow their bodies to become stiffened but they're already under they already get propanol so propanol propanol i forget one that put michael jackson to sleep you give that to them and then basically their bodies are already like in such a intense coma that they don't feel anything and then we crack open their heart and lungs and uh, inject them with the solution and then their body stiffens and then we take their brains because we work on brains and we're studying Parkinson's disease. That sounds really harsh and it sounds like I don't care, but I do, trust me, I'm just exhausted. So how was physical diagnosis? You guys met David. Um, basically you're partnered or sometimes you run solo dolo. The concept of this time is not like physical diagnosis where you have to come up with a diagnosis and treatment plan and da 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 and ask all the questions. It's basically the ability to perform a correct physical exam, a complete physical exam, as well as like, and then a physical, um, get a complete history which means uh, chief concern, past medical history, Family history, social history, medical history, um, medications, allergies, all the extra stuff, and anything that has to do with the history of present illness and all that extra stuff. Just to get that from my patient, but also you have to remember that we are going to be like we're shadowing some physicians, and there are the patients are real patients that are allowing us to do these, ask these questions and perform these exams. So we have to kind of make sure we're working with them. Like today, um, a child came in. He was really he was um pretty big and uh i was like uh, david was like oh maybe you know we should do motivational interviewing because he would be a perfect person but i'm just like be as as a child growing up i knew i know how it feels and everyone's like you need to lose weight you need to lose weight it's not the time to be saying you know maybe we should give this up it's all about taking it in stages allowing the patient to feel comfortable with you and then moving move forward from there like you just don't want to go and start doing motivational interviewing with someone that has no motive or drive to lose weight and they feel depressed and stuff like that because in, instead of you feeling like you're helping them you may actually be putting them into a further depression or anything like that so you got to kind of like gauge their mental status and where they are yeah and then we just saw you know kids do kids things newborns all that extra stuff <sighs> i'm exhausted it's like 6 20 seven 
What am I gonna do for the rest of the day? I'm gonna go to sleep. No, I'm pro I'm gonna eat some food because I actually didn't end up eating today due to just scheduling and stuff. So I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go to um and then I'm probably gonna get up and study because I would like to be somewhat prepared for tomorrow's quiz. Um, I'm actually kind of sort of on stuff like you know on top of my game, which is weird. I never do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna I want to try to keep that up so I could actually go into tomorrow's practice quiz and actually know stuff instead of just sitting there clicking and then asking my friends what the answer is. <sighs> Trying to start this off on a new foot. <sighs> Anywho, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> Let me know down below what was your most awkward um, experience with the doctor. I remember one time my doctor asked me, are you having sex in front of my mother? But from my mother like I was like hi you yeah awkward let me know down below hope you like this video hope you like the vlogs I hope you like the Mystical Monday videos let me know what else you guys want to see what other aspect of my life you'd like to like me to tap into and if I'm willing you'll see it if not look I right, can't help you if you want to know more about my hair this is her giving hair of course um, check the links down below and I also have a couple of um, playlists that'll pop up I have more medical videos popping up on the screen now as we speak. Bye guys.